Believe it or not, Forest Lawn has deep connections with the world's fairs. Forest Lawn was founded in 1906, which was the golden age of these fairs, which were also called Universal Exhibitions. Our founder, Hubert Eaton, attended the Panama Pacific International in 1915 and was inspired to make Forest Lawn a park full of art and monuments, reminiscent of a world's fair. A significant portion of that art would be European, but not all of it. One notable exception is the Republic by Daniel Chester French. French first crafted the Republic for the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, often referred to as the White City because of its gigantic white buildings. The statue was crafted out of gilded plaster and painted bronze. Accounts vary slightly, but it was a colossal piece of art standing at about 65 feet tall. The gigantic sculpture was a huge hit with visitors. Vendors cashed in on the craze and sold miniatures that became commonplace in American homes. It became synonymous with America, a true symbol for the nation. While all the mini statues were scattered around the country, the real one was destroyed in a fire. French was commissioned by the B.F. Ferguson Fund and the Women's World Fair Fund to make a smaller 24 foot tall version of the Republic to stand in Jackson Park, near where the original towered over the White City. It was installed in 1918 as part of the 25th anniversary of Chicago's World Fair and the centennial celebration of Illinois statehood. The original statue was nicknamed Big Mary, but the current one is referred to as the Golden Lady. In 1993, the statue was rededicated and regilded in honor of the 100th anniversary of the World Columbian Exposition. At the same time as the Jackson Park cast, a second cast was made. That cast was made of Carrara marble and bronze. This was a unique combination that was never duplicated. The original purchasers for this statue went bankrupt before the piece was completed and could not go through with the transaction. Because of Eaton's known love for statuary, he was given the opportunity to purchase the piece, but he ultimately declined. A few years later in New York, Eaton saw the statue in such disarray due to the harsh East Coast winters. Eaton then decided that he wanted to purchase the piece and restore it. Margaret French Cresson, Mr. French's daughter, agreed to sell the piece because it needed serious restoration. Restoration work included four fingers and a thumb on the right hand, the index finger on the left hand, and a fair portion of the laurel reef. All the restoration work would be done in California so that it wouldn't be broken during the shipping process. The piece traveled via boat, but the journey took longer than anticipated because of the West Coast dock worker strike. The Republic finally arrived here in January 1949. In mid-1949, the restoring process began. During the 1950s, the statue was placed where it now stands in the Court of Freedom. Each spring, the piece receives a coat of Canaba wax to maintain its beauty and life. Mrs. Cresson was ecstatic with the work's look and placement at Forest Lawn. She thought it was a superb setting, the very best possible kind of architectural arrangement. At Forest Lawn, we see the Republic standing opposite George Washington. Unlike the President's natural prose, the Republic stands stiffly upright. In one hand, she has a globe with an eagle perched on top. This was the symbol of the 1893 World's Fair. In the other, she has a staff with laurel leaves, an ancient symbol of victory. Altogether, the piece is one-fifth the size of the original. Forest Lawn statue measures 13 feet tall. The Republic is an amazing example of French's work, but his most famous piece is the Lincoln statue at the Lincoln Memorial. French was such a prominent sculptor of the late 1800s and early 1900s that his work can be seen in memorials and monuments around the country. Come to Forest Lawn Glendale to see this French masterpiece in person. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next episode.